My name is uh, Joe DeCarlis and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Civil Construction and Environmental Engineering at North Carolina State University. What I'm really interested in is our energy system at scales ranging from the local level, so at the level of an individual home, all the way up to global energy consumption. When you're at home and you flip on the light switch, lights come on automatically. If you walk over to your thermostat, uh, let's say that you're cold in the winter, so you raise the temperature a little bit, the furnace kicks on and you get almost an immediate increase in temperature. Behind that, those individual decisions that we all make is this vast and expensive energy infrastructure that needs to be maintained. And uh, not only that, but this energy infrastructure also causes environmental impact. And we have to remember that it's not just our individual decision that the system has to respond to, but we have 300, over 300 million people in the U.S. making the same kind of decisions every day. And we also have billions of people worldwide who have the same needs and desires. The challenge is to design energy infrastructure that meets all of our needs, that's relatively inexpensive, but also minimizes environmental impact. And the way that we do that is by running computer models of the energy system. These computer models basically represent the world as a set of mathematical equations. So underlying all of the research that I do and all of my research interests in the energy system is mathematics. I have to be able to find a way to represent the energy system as a set of mathematical equations. So once I do that, I build that into the computer model and I then run the model with a lot of data. Uh, and, I, and I look at different future scenarios to see how the energy system might unfold. And in terms of mathematics, the models are really just a set of algebraic equations that are being solved by the computer. If you think about it in terms of um, uh, basic algebra, you have several different variables. We don't know what they are. So it could be, instead of thinking in terms of you know, X, Y, and Z, it could be the installed capacity of wind turbines, of solar panels, and let's say coal-fired power plants. And I don't know myself exactly what those uh, values should be. So I basically formulate the computer model as a big algebra problem, and then I tell the model that I would like you to, for example, minimize cost, and then the computer then solves those algebraic expressions for me and uh, delivers a solution that tells me what the minimum cost would be. The reason why I'm very interested in these algebraic models is because it's driven by a big problem. I think that we have huge challenges facing us in our energy system and um, particularly the impact of our energy system on climate change. We burn fossil fuels which creates CO2 emissions and those CO2 emissions are now having an impact on our climate. So what really motivates me to study math is the ability that it gives me to to tackle really difficult problems.